Hi everyone, how you doing? So that song there was Take It Easy by the Eagles, which is a great song to play, it's one of my favourite ones from the Eagles, and it's another good one to learn if you're just starting off playing the guitar, because you've got your basic open chords in there, and it's pretty much the same strumming pattern throughout the whole song. There are a few wee small differences in there, but it's mainly the same strumming pattern you're going to be playing throughout the whole song. So this is a great one to learn if you're just starting off as well. So to get started with the intro, we're just going to be playing this here. That's all we're doing for that bit there. So we're going to start off with our G major and we're just going to be doing this. Up, up, down, down, up, down. And we're going to be doing that for two bars over the G major chord there. So we've got up, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down. Then we're going to go on to our C major chord and we're just going to do the same strumming pattern but just for one bar. Up, up, down, down, up, down. And then we're going to go on to a D7 sus4 chord. Again, same strumming pattern, but just once over this chord. Up, up, down, down, up, down. And if, you, if you've never played a D7 sus4 chord before, what you're going to get is your first finger on the second string on the first fret, your middle finger on the third string on the second fret, and then your pinky on the first string in the third fret and that's your D7 sus4 chord there for you okay so I'll play a run through for the first bit of the intro there for you again just so you can get used to the strumming pattern and the chord changes and then we'll go over the next part for you okay so it was just your G major chord and you do two bars of the strumming pattern so it's up, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down. And then you're on to C major. Up, up, down, down, up, down. And then D7 sus4. Up, up, down, down, up, down. Right, and you want to try and get that as smooth as you can. You want to try and avoid any kind of pauses between the chords. But don't worry if you get that when you're starting off, just take as much time as you need when you're going over these. The last thing you want to do is rush into the next chord because if you do that you're going to get flustered and make some mistakes. So just take as much time as you need and then the more confidence you get with it, try and just avoid any pauses between one chord to the next, okay? So again I'll play that through just from the first bit that I just played there. Just a slow tempo for you, just so you can have a practice run through with it, and then we'll go through the rest of the song. So I'll count in four beats, and then we'll get started. One, two, three, four. That's all we're doing for that first bit there. So it's up, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down. Then for the next bit, we're going back onto the G chord and we're going to be playing the same strumming pattern again, two bars over the G chord. Up, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. Back onto C major for the same as before. Up, up, down, down, up, down. Then back onto your D7 sus4. And you're going to be changing this about just a wee bit at the end of the strumming pattern. So what we're going to do for this chord is up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And that's what we're playing for our D7 sus4 chord there. So that's up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And that leads you on perfectly to start the verse. So <clears throat> I'll play the intro again for you, just from the very beginning up to the end there, and then we'll go over the verse for the song. So again, I'll count in four beats. I'll play a slow tempo for you, just so you can get used to the chord changes and the strumming pattern, and then we'll cover the rest of the song. So one, 
You're going to go back into your G major chord, then we're going to be playing this here. Okay, so the strumming pattern for that, we we're just going to be doing down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. So it's just that strumming pattern, and you're going to be doing that for four bars over G major, okay? So it's down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. Right, then when you go into the fifth bar, you're going to be staying on the G major chord, but we're just going to be doing down, down, up. And then we're going to go on to D major and we're going to be doing down, down, up for there, okay? So we'll go, to the, we'll go back to the beginning of the verse and we'll play from the G chord up to the D and then we'll cover the rest of the verse for you. So one, two, three, four. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. first there, okay? So it's one, two, three, four, five. And then once we've done that, we're going to go on to our C major chord, and we're going to be doing down, down, up, up, down, up, on the C major. Back onto G major, down, 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 up, down, up. Onto D major, down, 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 up, down, up. Then onto C major for the same strumming pattern as we just done there. Down, 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 up, down, up. And then G, down, 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 up, down, up. And that's your first verse there for you, okay? So I'll play that from the very beginning of the verse for you, just up to where we got to, and then we'll cover the chorus after that. So again, I'll count in four beats, and then you can feel free to have a play along, and then we'll go over the rest of the song. So one, two, three, four. to the chorus we're going to go on to our E minor and we're going to do the same strumming as we just done for most of that verse there so it's down 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 up down up and we're going to do two bars of that there so it's down 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 up down up down 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 up down up then on to C major for the same strumming pattern down 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 up down up then G major, then on to A minor for the same strumming again, down, 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 up, down, up, then C major for the same strumming, down, 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 up, down, up, then E minor for the same strumming pattern but for two bars. Right, 
so the first part of the chorus there, I'll play it from the beginning just up to where we got to there. So one, two, three, four. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. We're going to go on to our C major for the same strumming pattern. Then on to G. Back on to C. Then on to G. And then A minor. C major. And then G major, same strumming pattern, but for four bars this time. And that's your chorus there. So I'll play the chorus just from the very beginning again, just up to the end there, and then we'll go over the last part of the song. So one, two, three. Once you've done that, you're going to go back into the verse and you're going to be playing that the exact same way you've done the, for the first verse. The only difference is when you're doing the G major chord to start off with, you're just going to be doing that for two bars instead of the four. And then you'll carry on playing the rest of the verse just as you did the exact same way you did before. And then once you've finished the second verse, when you go into the second chorus, again that's only slightly different again. So you've got your E minor chord, and it's the same strumming pattern the whole way through. So you've got E minor for down, 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 up, down, up. D major. C major. G. A minor. minor for two bars, C, G, C, G, A minor, C, then G for two bars. Now once you've done that chorus there, you're going to be going back into the verse and you're going to be playing over the solo. When you're playing over the solo, you're just going to be doing the, play the verse as normal and then you do the first chorus, but you're only going to do half of the chorus. So you're going to play the verse just as normal. So you're going to be playing that, you're going to be playing verse 2 over what you play in the solo. Now when you get into the chorus, you're only going to be playing E minor, C, G, A minor, C, E. And then you're going back into to do another verse. And that is you, that is Take It Easy by The Eagles. 
So I'll play the whole song through just one more time for you. Again, just a decent kind of tempo to so you can have a, another practice run through, get used to the chord changes in the strumming pattern, and then I'll let you go and have a practice with that in your own time. So I'll count in four beats and then we'll get started. One, two, three, four. enjoyed that video I'll let you get on and have a practice with that in your own time so remember any time you're practicing a song just take as much time as you need when you're starting off just to get used to the strumming patterns and used to the chord changes as well even if you're used to a lot of the chords there's some songs where they can the chord changes can kind of make you stop to think for a, for a while so just take as much time as you need get used to it and then the more confidence you feel to start to build up the speeds the more you go on and you'll get it there. So remember if you like this video and you want to be kept up to date with more lessons that I'm going to have coming up remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification button so you can be kept up to date with all the videos that I'm going to have coming up. Um, got a lot of work to do to make up for the few months that I had away but there will be more lessons coming up soon so if you want to be kept up to date with all the other videos feel free just to hit subscribe hit the notification button and you can leave a like and a comment as well that would be greatly appreciated and again a huge huge thank you to every single one of you that have already subscribed and liked and commented and shown support for this channel it really does mean a lot to me so thank you so much to every single one of you so i'll see you later on and i hope you enjoy it bye